defending champions, the Dallas Mavericks, paying a visit to MSG, pitting Vin Sanity against Lynn Sanity. Jeremy and the Incredibles getting ready for action. One of the Incredibles not in the game, Carmelo Anthony. He's still out, but Amari Stoudemire is in and receiving a pass like that from Jeremy Lynn for the jam. And look who's checking in. New acquisition, J.R. Smith. Just back from China playing a little hoop over there, and you can see he's in midseason form. Things working out for JR. Knocks down the three off the dish from Landry Fields. Then another open three pointer. That one goes as well, and they're not all open. Watch this three pointer from Smith up and over Lamar Odom. That's not an easy shot, but he was three of five from distance in the first quarter, and yeah, very impressive. In fact, so impressive that Mark Zuckerberg decided to hang out and watch the game. Perhaps a friend request for J.R. Smith. How about this? Get a friend request in for Jeremy Lin. A buzzer beater at the end of the first quarter, just under two seconds to go. Dirk Nowitzki also playing big for the Dallas Mavericks. He had his best scoring day of the year, 11 of 20 from the field on the break. Lamar Odom, you know he can handle. He gets this one to Dirk, and that's the right idea. Dirk Nowitzki gets the little layup there. We are tied at 34. Still second quarter, Jeremy Lin with the steal and sharing over to his high five and buddy Landry Fields for the easy jam, 13 points on the day for Fields. Knicks up 42-38. Later in the second, win up and over Jason Kidd. Not an easy shot there. Knicks up by six, 46 to 40. Into the second half we go, and after turning it over once in the first half, Lynn has some trouble to start the third. First to turnover to Vince Carter. Then Lynn throws away an easy pass. Jason Kidd gets the steal. We go the other way, and it's just tough for Jeremy Lynn, you know, adjusting to the turnovers. He had seven turnovers on the day, and then when he wasn't turning it over, Dirk Nowitzki was knocking down threes like that one. And yet, yeah, draws the foul as well. He was four or five from distance. Sean Marion, a little floater there. And you see Dallas starting to open up the lead at 60 to 53. But if you've seen Jeremy Lin, you know he fights back. Tough move inside, hooping harm there. Dallas still in front by eight after the free throw. But watch it again. That's past Brandon Wright and Lamar Odom, two big guys. And somehow he finds the space to get the shot. And then Jeremy Lin playing defense. How about his pops? Yeah, gets in the passing lane, one, two dribbles and throwing it down 28 points on the day for Lynn. And you think the MSG crowd is fired up. He had five steals on the game as well. Into the fourth quarter, Knicks down three. Well, they're not down three anymore. That's Steve Novak for a three-pointer. How about another one from Steve Novak? Yeah, that's two three-pointers from Novak. One more in the corner again. He knocks that one down. Four of five from distance in the game. He had 14 points. Knicks up 87. 81 at that point, and yeah, try Linning outside. Jeremy Lin knocks down his own three-pointer. He was three of six from distance. New York 90 to 81 over the champs, and the place is celebrating. Later in the fourth quarter, less than six to go. Dallas picks up the steal. Jason Kidd over to Dirk Nowitzki. He makes the little layup. That cuts the lead down to four, 92 to 88. Again, Dirk, a season-high 34 points. Jeremy Lin misses. Look at the hustle, though, of the Dallas Mavericks. Jason Kidd picks up the loose ball. We go the other way. Less than a minute to go. Jason Terry for the tie, but that one is no good. Jeremy Lin gets the loose ball, passes it ahead the other way, and look who's there for the easy little layup. J.R. Smith gets it to go. Spike Lee is celebrating. He's got his jersey. The Knicks looking good. They win this one by seven at home over the champs. Your final, 104 to 97.